Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another round of Slay the Spire. We are here once again to with the Watcher today, so hopefully we'll have some good luck, get her up to the double digits. The bosses are going to be tougher, but who cares for the Watcher? Hello, Neo. Uh, give me the random work card. Ooh, Mr. Reality. Okay, we can have some fun with that. So, if we can get cards that can create other cards, then that would be awesome. So, I think some cards would be like Battle Him, which can create smites, uh, and other stuff. So, I think we're looking pretty good. I like it. I like where kind of like where we're going so far with this so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go for a bit of a battle heavy route because I want to get cards that can help me create other cards so that way we can win so let's go ahead and double defend up use our local to curl up the two louses we can't really use master reality just yet it's kind of a useless card at the moment but I'm sure as long as we can uh, get some good stuff then we should be fine so wrap on you, strike you, then we'll take care of that. Uh, let's see... Talk to the hand is always a good card. Getting two free block for attacking. Pretty nice if you ask me. So... I guess let's go ahead and just get Master Reality out of, out of the uh, shuffle pile, I guess. That was not a good hand. I would have at least liked to have gotten rid of the... Uh, the acid slime, but... Eh... Whatever, I guess. So let's go ahead and use Calm here, so that way... Use Vigilance to put ourselves into Calm. And then we can erupt, hopefully doing a big damage round on the Spike Slot. So that is my hope, anyways. So... Uh... I don't think we'll have enough. Uh, whatever. We can still do a decent... Actually, we... Uh, whatever, let's just go ahead and mill call and hit up with another strike. Probably should have struck him while we're still in Wrath, but... Whatever, I guess. So... He won't be killing just yet, so let's go ahead and double defend and... Hit him with a talk to the hand. Because either way, even if we had hit him with the uh, strike, then it would still take uh, two strikes to get rid of him. Unless we draw an eruption. Although I guess with the eruption it still does the same thing, so... So let's go with... I guess Crush Joints is decent, but... I think Boiling Bash is probably the card that we want. Since some enemies do like to use uh, numbers on us. So Boiling Bash... Let's go ahead and milk up, hit them with the strike, so... We get a decent chunk of defense thanks to uh, Talk to the Hound. So, go ahead and put ourselves into Vigilance, hopefully next round will be a good round for us. Kinda want to upgrade Master Reality so that way it is not, uh, it's not costing us energy. That's a, that's a pretty nice touch. Alright, here we go, here's our first uh, card creator. So, into the mystery, see what we get. Ooh, relic. It's what the damage! Eh, on season top. Kind of meh, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, we kind of need to keep some of our health, so... Let's keep going. Hit up the smith shop, go ahead and get Master Reality to be free. And continuing on. And this is why we have Boiling Bash. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and master reality. Hit them all with an explosive potion for good measures. We could... We could erupt here, but I don't think that's necessarily a good move there, so... Let's just go ahead and Vigilance and defend. Keep ourselves healthy. I do not appreciate the fact that we're getting dazed. Hey, but here's a bowling bash. So we can let's just go ahead and take care of 
basically eliminating 10 uh, damage just by killing one of them, so that's pretty nice. So next up, ooh, nice. Call reality, grab our smite. And with the power of a miracle, we should have the damage. Also, we used our talk to the hand just so that way we can get it out of our deck. Pretty smart if you ask me. So let's go ahead and vigilance. Uh, yeah, you know what, let's put up a more defense. Hopefully we can draw a good hand. Yeah, decent enough. Gets rid of two of our phases, so... It's definitely not going to look uh, great for us in a second, but... Who knows? We might be lucky. Yeah, we're lucky. So I whooped, made them with smite, which still kills them. The end. Hey! He has an evaluate, which is pretty decent. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and upgrade our talk to the hand, so that way it's giving us more defense. Continuing on. Ooh, a mummified hand. That could be useful. So let's see. We could go for a bit of a whiskey route with taking on another elite. Uh, well, let's go ahead and hit up this shot. Hit up the uh, hit this plate. Hit up a campfire so that way we can hit up the shop before hitting up an elite. Oh yeah, it was definitely worth it. Oh, elite's waffle. Uh, thank you for the health. Actually, why? Okay, it's big slime, so. Having more health is definitely useful. So, wow, this is a horrible hand. How do you get... Man. What is with these bad hands? I mean, I'm grateful that we're getting Master Reality and I'll be getting hand every time, but still, come on. Okay, so hit up with a talk to the hand. Of Reality. How much damage would this be if I phono buys him? Uh, you know what, that's enough. Hey, no shots. So, let's go ahead and put study into our deck. Hey, it's you again. Eh, I mean, we don't really have too much combo pieces or anything like that. Uh... Let's go with the donuts since we can get some more health. And let's go ahead and make... Let's see, so this will give us more block. So let's just go ahead and reduce the cost of study. So let's go ahead and master reality. Call reality. And just simply start doing the big dump. Actually, we probably should have held on to... Well... It's debatable about whether we should hold on to our uh, whether we should hold on to our smites because just simply because of the fact that they have retain. Because sometimes we might not have these ideal situations where we can just simply go all in with uh, an eruption combo. So let's go ahead and grab an attack potion here. Grab wheel kick. Go ahead and erupt. Hit up with a talk to the hand, use wheel. See what we get from insight. So. Evolved. Pulling and strike. Nice. Pretty decent. So let's see. I think the grabbing Deus Ex Machina is pretty useful, even if we don't upgrade it from a. Uh, even if we don't end up upgrading it from our master reality, getting more energy, getting more free energy is pretty nice, if you ask me. Uh, hmm. Pandora's box might be pretty decent here, since we can end up getting cards that can add other stuff into our hands. So it might be a good idea to. You know what? Sure. So let's see. 
We got Squall, we got Vault, we got Conjure Blade, hell yes! We actually got some pretty decent uh, cards here, so I don't regret making my decision. Although we might, might be needing to get some uh, block cards now. That's probably the my main issue. We need some reliable block. So let's go ahead and let's go start off this way. It's a bit battle heavy, but it's definitely better to grab some more gold, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and smack this bird out of the air. So that will make sure that he doesn't do anything. We'll go ahead and evaluate. So that way we can get a... Pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. He held on to a smite, so... That's good. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Who? Okay. Go ahead and you study. Oh, and it gave us a free vault. Nice. Love to see it. So let's go ahead and contemplate that. Go ahead and you want? Know let's go ahead and evolve. Use vault. Good. Good. Use insight. Grab our Master Reality. Makes Expunger free, which is nice. Strike the bird. Finish him off. Actually, we should have used Bowling Bash. Oh well. So we'll just have to use Bowling Bash on that one. And... Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for now. Nothing wrong with doing that. Because we have plenty of insight. So, hit them with a sponge. Hit them with sash whip. Morning bash. And he's dead. Nice. Hey, and now we can get reach. And we can get reach heaven. Nice. Pretty good, pretty good. We're looking uh, pretty powerful, I would say. So, start with Master Reality. And we got a free Blasphemy, which we are not going to use. Although. It. Hmm. Blasphemy gives us three energy. We might be able to do it with it, since it gives us triple damage. It's tempting. Let's go ahead and see what we can get first. Let's see. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Blasphemy is worth it here. It's definitely not that great of a card at this point in time, so. Let's go ahead and hit him with a talk to the hand. Hit him with a follow up. We have master we we have mastered reality, so we can get an upgraded smite. But we could also use do violence. Let's go ahead and grab a top reality here and just simply use evaluate to make sure that we stay healthy. We got to think about this a little bit. We don't have any strikes or defense, which eh, it's a double. It's a double-edged blade. So... Let's go ahead and... Vigilance. Empty body. Use Conjure Blade here. Miracle. Hit him with... Actually, let's go ahead and Miracle up again. Use Study. Oh, I should've... Ah, uh, we didn't... Dang it. Oh well, whatever. Well, that was my mistake. <laughs> but, at least we're still alive and healthy. So, Expunger. Follow. And let's go ahead and stop reaching heaven. We get to violence. Alright, looking pretty decent. 
If we can get uh, a bottled storm, or whatever it's called, that can give us. Uh, if we can get the uh, bottled uh, storm card, then that will be awesome. So let's go ahead and grab Cut Through Fate, since scrying and drawing is always pretty neat. Uh, I'll just do the smash and grab. So let's see. What do we have? Ah. What do we have? Uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and add the distilled chaos. Get rid of a. Huh. Let's go ahead and grab the O. Let's see. Eh, nothing useful. Thank you for the evaluate. Always useful. Eh, nothing useful. Uh, the die is tempting. Eh. Let's go with the die. Thank you. Alrighty, so with that, we now have a few extra cards in our deck. So I think we're looking pretty safe now. So, let's go ahead and miracle. You scroll. Alright, so see what study turns to free. Ooh, it gave us vault for free. Oh, I love it. I love to see it. So if that's the case, talk to the hand on cultus. Use follow up on cultus. Hit the cultus with boarding dash. Vault. Then we use some insight, see what we can get. Eh, not the greatest hand ever, but I think it's decent enough since we can use each heaven. Hit the closest with Fort Bash. Sash rip the chosen, and then we can go ahead and continue our evaluation. And here is where things get fun. So, Master Reality. Use Insight. Huh. If this is the case, then let's go ahead and. We'll use Conjure Blade. Activate Blasphemy. Insight. Hit them. Yeah, just simply the Expunge Blasphemy combo is deadly. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a, some more Third Eye here since. So let's go ahead and Conjure Blade X. So this way we don't really need to worry too much about uh, Conjure Blade. Ooh. Tempting situation. So let's go ahead and evaluate twice. I will null out most of the damage from the shield parasite, and then we conjure blade so that way we have a expunger for a lot of damage, basically. So let's see, what does my inside reveal to me? So study, see what we can get. Nothing useful. We got the sash rip for free. So if that's the case. I'm kind of scared of using this still chaos when I know Blasphemy is still in my deck. So if that's the case, let's go ahead and cut to fate. Okay. And with that, at the still chaos is a lot safer. So now we can we can hit the shell pair of Simon Sponger. We can sash up this shield parasite, getting him out there. And well, let's go ahead and third eye. 
Yep, figures. I already know what's happening. I already know what's coming to me. We don't even need to switch out the... Uh, because... It doesn't do enough damage. Nice. I'd love to see it. Uh, you know what? Quest joints might actually be a pretty good card for the deck here. Alright, next. So let's see. See what studying has to give us. So it gave us cut to fate for free. Eh, sure, we'll grab a Deus at command. Hit them with Sash Rip, use Squall. Let's see. Triple Miracle. And let's go ahead and conjure our blade. Alright. Pretty decent, I would say. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and vault this turn. Here we go. Master Reality. We'll re evaluate. Insight. So let's see. Go ahead and activate the Gen Potions since I feel like we're going to need it. Third eye, let's see what we get. Give rid of the boiling bash. So let's go ahead and let's see. Sponger. Follow up. And unfortunately that does nothing. Shoot. If only we had one more attack. Well, whatever. So pretty decent damage. Not to mention we have plenty of card draw. So I'm not too worried. Alright. So let's see here. Go into vigilance. You say option. Follow up. Talk to the hand. Sasha. And empty our body. So that way we don't even need to worry about damage. Nice. Go ahead and activate Insight. Hit them with the Calm Reality. Hit them with the Sponger. And Smite them. Smite me! Oh my day, Smiter! Ooh, the White Beast statue. That, that would be pretty useful. Let's go, since we got Ragnarok, let's go ahead and upgrade that since... I mean, a Divinity, even if it's for a single turn, Divinity plus Ragnarok is a incredibly strong combo. So let's see. Let's go ahead and... Really? Are giving us a single creating card? Wow. That's, that's kind of sad, actually. Uh, Collector is already giving us Miracle Pluses, so it doesn't really work without deck. I guess we'll take another Evaluate. Hey, good start. Master Reality. Ooh, and we get Reach Heaven. Nice. So we'll go ahead and use that. We'll use our Miracle here. Use Evaluate. Scroll. So, hit the equipment leader with Talk to the Hand. Follow it up. Then... We'll carve Reality on the Shield Gremlin. Hit... Hit the... Uh, go ahead and build code, so that way we can get Crush Joints. Cut to fate on him. Grab another insight. Use Sash Rip here. Alright. And now we'll just simply 
end our turn with a boring old vigilance. Nice. And now we're all set up. Perfect. So hit them with eruption. Hit them with smite. Hit them through violence. Vault. And then whack. Oh, that's a combo and a half right there. Ooh, and then we got the singing bowl. Uh, I don't think we need another study, so let's go ahead and just simply turn it into HP. So let's see here. Go ahead and miracle. Use study. Only bash on the sentry. Might as well follow up. Use squall. That's the reality. See what becomes free. Ooh, free vigilance. That's pretty nice. So. Since we have Master Reality, let's go ahead and Conjure Blade. And. Sure, we let them have a turn, but it's not the worst thing ever. Especially when we get a hand like this. So let's see. What do we want to get rid of? We could use multiple cards, or we can use Ragnarok. Yeah, I think uh, using multiple cards here is pretty wise. So let's go ahead and expunge. Oh! Hold on. If we use... It should be enough to kill. Yep, it was. Nice. Alright. Always go for the question marks. Unless it's this, because... So let's see here. Let's go ahead and smith up... Ooh, we can make Squall free. Yeah, I think making Squall free is pretty... It's a good one. Alright, let's do this. Alright, come on. Ah, oh, we got a free evaluate. Oh well, we'll take it. So we'll reach heaven. Hit him with the sash rips. Third die. Get rid of... Get rid of these. Alright. Oh, that'll be... It's a decent enough person, I guess. So, let's see. I can make evaluate. Insight. Okay, so we'll use up a miracle. We'll use up another miracle. So, we'll use vigilance. We'll use a option. Up to the hand. Of reality. Go ahead and activate our miracle here. Use vault. Insight. Ooh. Okay, two violence. Hit them with a follow up. Smite them. Let's go with skill potion. For swivel. And that's a free whack to walk right there. Then we can... We'll go ahead and quest joints on him. Grab another study. We'll reevaluate. And one bash. Oh, I... Oh, no! We had to seize the stop! Well, uh, that's unfortunate. So let's go ahead and insight. Go ahead and insight again. So let's see. Let's go with... Ooh. So hit him with smite. Follow up. And unfortunately, I guess that's where we have to kind of stop and just simply 
VR body. But we will still get a uh, soul use. Ah, oh, shoot, I should have. I must stop there because the. Uh, when I got Expunger, I didn't. Uh, well, that was my mess up there. At least we're still doing some pretty decent damage, I guess. So we'll hold on to this inside for now. Yes, yes. You are mine, whatever. We should have some. Yeah, we're getting plenty of insights, so it's not as if we don't have. Uh, we don't have uh, ways to make sure that we stay alive. So that's nice. Ooh. Let's go with a rack walk here. Uh, let's see. I think... I think the Philosopher's Stones is... I don't think it, we'll have to worry too much about our enemies getting one strength as long as we manage to take them out in the first turn, I guess. So let's get started on the world. Oh great, these guys. So, let's go ahead and master reality. Shoot, got a free evaluate. Well, whatever. So let's go ahead and hit this one with talk. Scroll. Give us a miracle here. That gave us a free blast for me. So let's see. Attack potion. Let's go ahead and grab wall. Oh, why do we don't have enough space in our deck? Well, that's embarrassing. So let's go ahead and just start evaluating. Go ahead and use Conjure Blade. I guess. We'll go up, give us third eye, get rid of these two, so that way we can get uh, for an insight. I'll take a little bit, but not the worst thing ever. Alright, so let's start seeing into the future here. So all of them are defending, which is kind of annoying. There we go. So we'll hit this Darkling. Sponge this one. Go ahead and use Boiling Bash on that one. So that will put. So that now we only have to worry about one Darkling from regrowing. Just need to kill this one and we should be fine. Thank you, Expunger. Dirty damage. It's kind of... It's really surreal, you know? So let's go ahead and grab Wheel Kick, since grabbing uh, two additional cards as well as doing damage is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, it's sad that we have to lose a Ragnarok, but we do have another one. We just need to upgrade it. So let's see, Master Reality, hey, Free Vault. So let's go ahead and start taking down the Exploders. Well, that's all for this turn, because I'm not using uh, Divinity just yet. So... Let's go with... Conjure Blade. Miracle up. Satchel. Of course, we're still going to take a little bit of damage from this Exploder, but it's not the worst thing ever. We do have a Block Potion, but I kind of want to save it for now. So, Miracle, Miracle. Use Squall. We'll use our Vigilance, since I have a feeling that we're going to draw Eruption. Yep, ask and ye shall receive. So... Go ahead and put up a defense for now, so that way we can expunge the spike. 
And then we get rid of these. The explode. Nice. Alright. We're on a pretty good pathing so far. Alright, what do we have? Ooh, the white demon mass, huh? Talk about an annoying customer. So hit him over talk to the hand, yeah. Oh, now that's just simply a rude a real kick. Okay, this is something I can deal with. So let's go ahead and miracle. Double evaluate. Sure, we get weakened and vulnerable, but it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Don't need a block potion here. Evaluate the die. Yeah, this hand is pretty decent, but I think we can go without the... So go ahead and grab this and cut to fate. Okay, nice. Don't really care if it gets a defense here, so as long as we are defended. Alright, so hit him with follow up. Use bowling dash. Master reality for fault. Insight. Hit him with eruption so that we can get going. So use conscious bait here. Activate miracle. Insight. For expunger. Then scroll to see what we can get. Perfect. Oh. If we didn't have gotten that expunger a second time, I think we might have taken a chunk of damage there. Whew. Oh, wait. The Webtomancer. Fun. Not really. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab Battle Him. Start sinking. Conjure Blade. See where Ragnarok hits. Fortunately, didn't get any kills. I guess we could force a kill by using Miracle here, so... So let's go ahead and take this one out since it has uh, the most health. Other than the Reptomancer, obviously. Okay, so... Follow up on this one. Sash rip. So see what we can draw with this. Hit them with bowling bash. Use evaluate. Uh, we're gonna take a big chunk. Ow. Alright, so study. Sweet wheel kick. We might be able to live. That's for me. Start squalling. Use Master Reality. So let's see, what are our most powerful cards here? Obviously Expunger, so let's go ahead and use that. And then... Nice. Phew. That may be slightly void. Hey, another talk to the hand. Useful. So let's go ahead and rest here. Since we're going to need health for uh, the upcoming uh, boss, not to mention the enhanced uh, elite that's on the way up. So, okay, pretty decent. It's nice enough, I guess. Still annoying to have to deal with its stupid intangibility. And never mind. Alright, gotta use everything here. 
Uh, make sure that we survive this round. Here we go. Vigilance. Empty body. Every third eye. Get rid of... Actually, keep all these. Then let's go ahead and... Go ahead and activate another third eye. Evaluate. Conjure update. Alright. It's, it's not the best expunger out there, but you know what? It's an expunger. So, study. Expunge it. Bolt. See if we can't get lucky. To master reality, use our insight to draw cards. And then we'll put another talk to the hand for a follow up for a Ragnarok. Still need to upgrade this. Just gotta keep on hitting him. Oh, what even is the nemesis? Because, I mean, it obviously has like some silent portrayals, but. Don't exactly know exactly what it is the nemesis. Yes, yes, keep burning me. How do you even burn me with a scream? That just doesn't make sense. Uh, it's not a great hand, but it's a hand that we have to make work with. We're definitely going to need to uh, rest up again for once we get there. So let's see. Vigilance, empty body, third eye. Looking nice for the next hand. Guess we'll just simply have to take it. Here we go. Here's the hand I wanted. And that's the end. Of it. Give me another two HP, please. Ooh, a wet song. Oh, but it didn't give us. Uh, all right, fine. I guess we'll have to smith up. Smith up Ragnarok ourselves. So let's see what the... Let's see. The sex machina. Pretty nice. Go ahead and give with a big bowling bash here. Grab a clockwork souvenir. Thank you. And let's go ahead and grab a sweat potion for our way. So let's go ahead and hit up the west. Go ahead and oh, oh! It, but it gets max more, gets more max HP. Each. All right. So he whooped. Evaluate. Might as well use both. Quest joints. Reach heaven. I guess it's decent enough. Well, oh. with about 80 HP. So go ahead and milk her up. So that way we can get a very powerful expunger. Alright, go ahead and grab some insight, master reality. Go ahead and evaluate him. Hit him with a talk to the Han. Cut through the fate. Sure, we'll grab a scroll. So, go ahead and study for well, free vault. Thank you. Hit them with expunger. Oh, that's some good damage. So let's go ahead and vault here. 
Get rid of those cards. Hit them with another puck to the hand as a starter for a follow up. See what we get, see it through our third eye. I like what I'm seeing, so let's keep it. Use our insight. Put out some miracles. And then we're gonna do violence. That's a powerful back. My time to carve reality. And uh, what's the last one? Eh, let's just go ahead and start drawing again. Uh, I think we can just miracle and yeah, a single hit from eruption will take him out. Uh, yeah, no, I think more max HP is always nice. So let's go ahead and get rid of the final boarding bash since the uh, time eater is kind of a fickle one. So let's go ahead and let's see. This uh, this makes it so it adds three miracles, but I think let's just go ahead and get as much HP as we can get since. Who? All right. Uh, you and I don't really like each other that much, but here we are. So, Dark Ragnarok here. And... Uh, let's Ow. So, go ahead and hit him with a uh, talk to the hand. Expunger. Gonna take a bit of an hour here, but eh, what can we do? We're still waiting it off. We're still making sure that we can kill him in one false suit. Uh, you know what, let's go ahead and see about a strip potion. Okay. Go ahead and insight again. Thank you for a talk to the hand. And let's go ahead and expunge him. Try to activate his time, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and use the explosive potion here. Let's see. This isn't a good hand. I'm kind of tempted to just simply vault over. Yeah, let's just go ahead and vault it. So we have it. Hit him with a smite. See what we can get from our insight. Violence. Miracle. Gotta be careful here since I need to keep track of his watch. So just gotta keep evaluating. Fortunately. Yeah. Just gotta keep on evaluating for the proper moment. You can limit my card draw all you want, but I have my insight to guide me. And I think this turn may be his last. Just gotta make sure I play it safe ish. Here we go, now that's an expunger. So, let's go ahead and slash with 
see what we get from our third eye. Nothing too useful, so let's go ahead and just simply discard it all. Now he's going to be like, foolish! You are foolish! But we don't care because he is dead. Because that's what we Get out of my face. Oh yeah. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. 49 minutes. Victory Ascension Mode level 10. Whew. In the double digits now, folks. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button as well as comment down below. And hit that subscribe button because it's you guys and gals that make this channel alive. I'll see you all next time.